All right, so I'm getting my 1981 C10 prepped for paint, and I'm going to remove this Rhino liner or Linex hard coating uh, from my truck bed, and I'm going to see if this experiment with citrus strip is the best method. So apparently we just apply the citrus strip, strip and gel with an applicator brush, and then cover it with a plastic drop cloth. All of those items cost about $30 total. And we're just gonna let it sit overnight up to 24 hours and see if this is the best method for removing Rhino liner. Okay, so I just spent about an hour and a half applying one coat using only one bottle. All right, so there goes the second coat. I um, used a 32 ounce bottle of citrus strip for the front half and then another one for the back half. So should be nice and lathered, should penetrate. Okay, so it's been about 23 hours since my second coat, but judging by the corrosion after peeling back the plastic tarp, I'm pretty sure I got the results I want. Looks like it bubbled all the way through, if you can see that. So I'll do a quick little test run. There you go. That's all the way to the metal. It's white paint underneath there. Anyhow, that's the results I was looking for. So I'm gonna start pecking away at this and I'll show you the results afterwards. Okay, so here's a status check. Six hours later, after scraping with a putty knife, I got it down to bare metal in most spots. Uh, fairly easy, but I'm gonna go ahead and do another round of the citrus strip. Okay, I'm going for the final layer to strip away with the putty knife um definitely like one of the biggest lessons learned from doing this is that when you go to strip away with your putty knife after a 24-hour uh soaking of that citrus strip uh, definitely don't pull the tarp all the way off because the uh, far end of wherever you're, you're working is going to be dried out and harder to pull up so I'm just gonna pull back as I go and see if I have better luck with that that's bare metal so off I go yeah get some of that all right so that's eight hours worth of chipping away with a putty knife definitely keep a file on hand uh, sharpen the putty knife as you go it just makes it a whole lot easier all right so the removal of my rhino lining is complete uh, it was a pretty big job for me I had to attempt it three times but in the end I stripped it all the way down the bare metal or base paint and then I finished it off with an 80 grit sandpaper using a power sander and uh, a nylon wire wheel on my corded drill just to get in my corners and places that my power sander wasn't reaching. And here are those tools just to reference. And then I cleaned up any of the residue of the citrus strip with the paint stripper after wash and then prepped the surface with odorless mineral spirits. And then any spots that I had surface rust I sanded those down and coated it with Rust Reformer by Rust-Oleum. So it's just a quick spray can coat, but not too bad. Uh, it was all well worth it. And now it's ready for paint. Thanks for watching.